to the local scene. The Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Sirika, arriving here at the Nigerian College of Aviation Technology in Zaria, he is received by some stakeholders in the aviation industry. He is here for one reason to unveil the new DA-42NG aircraft. After the unveiling, the minister was presented with two awards, the International Civil Aviation Organization and the Global Aviation Training won by the college for the year 2016. I'm more than glad and happy to receive and accept the award as a demonstration of the ability and capability of this great institution. More so because it has been organized by International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. The rector of the college, Captain Abdul Salam Mohammed, says the new aircraft will help improve their flying skills. These new trainer aircraft would significantly improve our flight training experience. And from the angle of cost efficiency, our analysis has shown that it will significantly reduce our operating costs, especially in the area of maintenance and fueling. Training is one key element that is taken seriously in the industry, and the minister says there will be no relenting. An aviation expert talks about the importance of acquiring the DA-42NG. These aircrafts are safe, they're safe, durable, they, they're made of uh, composite material, making them very lightweight. They go long range and they use jet fuel. The Nigerian College of Aviation Technology, Zaria, was established in 1964 for the training of indigenous pilots. It started with a fleet of about 26 training aircraft. Upon inception, the newly acquired aircraft is equipped with glass cockpit and Garmin 1000, which will make it easier for graduating pilots to transit to new generation commercial aircraft. The Malaysia MH370 is once again in the news. A new ocean debris drift analysis shows missing Malaysia Airlines MH370 is likely within a proposed expanded services according to the Australian government's scientific agency. The Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization report featured data and analysis from ocean testing of an actual Boeing 777 Flaperon cut down to match the one from the MH370 found on Reunion Island off the coast of Africa in 2015 rather than the wood and steel models used in a previous test. 150.4 million US dollars set for the aircraft, which went missing in 2014, with 239 people on board, was suspended when the two nations rejected a recommendation to search north of the 120,000 square kilometer area already canvassed, saying the new area was too imprecise. The new debris drift analysis suggests the missing Boeing 777 may be located in a much smaller 25,000 square kilometer zone within that proposed northern surge area. The location of MH370, which went missing on a flight to Beijing from the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur, has become one of the world's greatest aviation mysteries. A new airplane, MI-35M, is being acquired by the Nigerian Air Force, and this was showcased in Makodi, the Benue state capital. This is MI-35M, a newly acquired fighter helicopter by the Nigerian Air Force to tackle insurgent activities in parts of the country. The MI-35M is a command and control C-2 airborne helicopter designed to serve airborne command posts for the Russian military. 
Based upon the MR-35M attack helicopter, the aircraft features body and wings mounted radio antennas. It is fitted with advanced avionics, a variety of sensors, night vision cameras, Raduga MB satellite station, Glonass GPS navigational system and an anti-jamming system. The MI-35Ms also features the President's self-protection system against infrared guided missiles. Wing Commander Mohammed Umar is one of the MI-35M pilots. He explains the difference between the newly inducted gunships from those already in operation. Jet engines, especially for helicopters, the higher the altitude, the higher the temperature, the poor the performance. However, with these machines, we have newer engines on the machines, which allows us to operate over a wide range of environments all over the country. Air Force pilots exhibit how indeed they confront insurgents in parts of the country. And now time for a mock airlift. The crew moved through the forests bordering River Benue down to Wakari in Taraba State. From the aerial surveillance, you could clearly see herdsmen grazing into residential and farmlands in Benue State, another sign that the militant herdsmen are still lurking around. Surveillance over, the pilot says the MI-35M can operate over a wide range of environments. The MI-35M is a modernized version of the MI-24 attack helicopter. It is capable of uh, conducting 24 hours around the clock, day and night operations in simple and complex weather, con uh, weather conditions. The director of public relations and information Nigerian Air Force Group Captain Ayodele Famuyiwa believes the MR-35 gunships will contribute immensely to both national security and civil aviation safety. Uh, the advantage that standoff offer is that it enables you to be able to acquire your target and engage it from quite a distance. That offers two advantages. One, you can reduce the possibility of collateral damage because you can pinpoint on what you, you really need to take out and you can do that. In order to carry out their work efficiently, they also engage in cross-training programs. Military standard of aviation uh, is much higher than what obtains uh, in the civil sector. Uh, you find Air Force sending uh, our operators to train in the, civil, uh, in the civil sector. So there's that collaboration. Uh, for example, you find uh, Air Force F traffic controller being trained at NCAT, that is the Nigerian College of Aviation Technology in Zaria. The Minister of State for Aviation applauds the efforts of the Nigerian Air Force. It has put us in the comfort zone that ought to have been a long time ago. They have acquired more capability, they have acquired more ability, and then they have been um, motivated to the uh, point that they would deliver the necessary service that they are required to do in the protection of life uh, and property and that of the integrity and territorial integrity of this country. And perhaps this newly acquired equipment will help tackle herdsmen attacks in Benue State. Operation Smokeout at uh, the objective is to enhance the security situation in uh, Benue State, areas or locations where those criminals who will be lurking around, we want to force them out of that, uh, those locations and then ensure that the surface forces get into those areas and then they mop up. The multi-role MI-35M attack helicopter is a comprehensive modernization of the MI-24V developed in Moscow, Russia and has been produced in series since 2005. Although only two of the gunships have been acquired, the federal government says more MI-35M gunships in addition to 15 other fighter jets will be acquired to put an end to insurgents in the country. I'm glad you were part of today's trip. Please let us know your experience at any of the local or international terminals by sending your comments to our social media portal. Thank you for watching. I'm Victoria Idomo.